That's a uh, big Don right there. Big Don. He try to get at you. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Park it like it's hot. Sniff and get an attitude. Pop it like it's hot. Pop it like it's hot. I'm a nice dude with some nice dreams. See these ice cubes. See these ice creams. Eligible bachelor. Million dollar ball. That's whiter than what's spilling down your throat. The phantom exterior like fish eggs. The interior like suicide respect. I can exercise you. This could be your fish head. Cheat on your man, man. That's how you get a hit head. Killer with the B. I know killers in the street. What's up, guys? Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is D Wayne. And. We are on our lake cabin, known as the D's Nuts 2. So today we are uh, just doing a little bit of maintenance. Weather's kind of nice. It's supposed to be kind of cloudy and crappy today, but it's been rainy over the last few days. We are still waiting on the canvas, but we are making progress. I did see him down here this week working on it. Something on the lens. Uh, looks like they uh, made a completely new sea track zipper. So I originally asked just to have the this top canopy here made or remade, but they are trying to fit everything so it fits new, including eyes and glass, both all the way around. Little bonus. It's not going to be cheap. Uh, not looking forward to that bill. So we are putting a new battery in the boat today. Enough to chat. Uh, we got to open up the hatch. Watch out, Gizmet. We got to pull up uh, Bex's straight fare find. Watch out, isn't We're opening the hatch. Watch out. Lift it up. It's gonna move. Gotta move. Watch out. Nope. Yeah. See? <laughs> Told ya. Ah, nice dry bilge. Tell you what, I tell you what, these uh brackets that hold the keep the battery down, well tie downs, whatever, whatever fancy word you want to call it in the marine world, they keep the battery from bouncing around and flying out. Well, apparently they also like to keep the battery from going back in when you replace it. Broke a sweat on that one. Ooh, geez. All right, so uh oh, nice little extra feature. I mean, yes, shore power is completely turned off. Boat is shut down 100%. Safety feature with the shore power charging. You just push these out uh, here. I'll show you. I'll show you. They're pretty fancy. I can actually just come in here, disable the white box from the batteries. All right, let's get her hooked up and uh, see what the battery charger will, will uh, read. And they are not AGM batteries. They're deep cycle. You can't intermix AGM and the deep cycles. Um, you can, not recommended. The charger is smart enough to know what type of battery it is. So when you hook it up, it will actually choose for you. It'll know and recognize, but just in general, just keep them all the same. And the other two batteries way in the back, we're not dead. They're still great batteries. The only reason the port battery is dying so quickly is because the port battery runs the lights down here and runs everything up on the helm. So that battery gets used the most and it also starts the uh, port engine but when the oh, lighting's horrible so when the port battery dies we can't start the port engine there is a they call it the emergency switch it's just a parallel switch so what it does is it automatically pulls juice from the starboard and house batteries to start your port engine and provide power all right enough chat all right we are all hooked up let's uh flip short power still off Let's flip the old uh, port on. We've got light. That's good. Remember, shore power is still off. All right, that battery is providing 12.1. The other battery I tested before we hopped on here, or before I turned the camera on, the display turned on and turned off instantly. That's how good the battery was. So, shore power is on, no charge yet. So, we're all zero zeros. I'm going to go ahead and do that one, we turn it on, and I'm gonna do the bottom one. Here we go. We got 20 amp charging, 
So we are using 100%, first time I've seen that. Fan's not at 100%, and you can tell here the different types of batteries, sealed AGM gels. Right now, all of the juice is going into that port battery. This should be reading 14, it's not, reading 13, still better than 12. So that battery does need some charging and should go up from here and it just did 13.1. I would guess in about half hour or so that'll probably be reading 14.3. It's at 13.2 now, so it's going up. That battery's getting a good charge. So since it's a new battery, I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and just monitor the situation. Don't have anything else to do today. It's all point of lake cabin, right? Come down, relax. Yeah. This is a little bit of older lake cabin. You gotta do some work before you can relax. You gotta earn the relaxation. Oh. Yeah, the next exciting uh, little project here is it was supposed to show up today. It didn't. I have a feeling it's going to show up Monday. Yep. The, uh, we did get another head unit that will go here. Same head unit, same family, same ecosystem of the Garmin family. Uh, another 93 SV. This one is a UHD, the top one. The new one is the 93 SV+. Plus. So it's got the Navionics chart on it. On the smoking deal, I know they do have the UHD-2s, but I don't, it's an older boat, don't need it. Wanted to keep it in the same ecosystem, mostly because if I did do a Garmin Echo Map up here and a Garmin GPS unit down here, you can't network the two. You can NEMA the two, um, but as far as the two talking directly, as far as sharing waypoints, um, they don't share maps. If you network, you can share everything just from unit to unit instead of NEMA, the whole system to NEMA. I say NEMA, it's N-M-E-A 2000 letter. I say NEMA, but the only way to get them to network and talk to each other, it has to be in the same ecosystem. They call it the ecosystem. I sound like a nerd or a hippie when I say ecosystem. There is a ethernet plug on the back of this. There's actually quite a few plugs on the back of that. It plugs into the Panoptics port, I believe. With that network, I can use the same transducer. So I'm using the UHD transducer. The plus version, since it's not a UHD, it's just the plus. It can use that transducer, but it's not going to show in the UHD. They call it HD, but it's not HD. Come on, Garmin. HD would be like 4K resolution. It's not 4K resolution. One transducer that's on the back. And if I did have another transducer, a through hole, let's say in the front, one could work off of, doesn't matter which one, one could work off the front transducer, one could work off the back transducer. So that's the point of the networking. You can share, they play well together. They like to share each other's toys and tools. So to network, it has to be in the same family. To do the NEMA, it can be mismatch. I'll do another little uh, <clears throat> tutorial once it comes in. When we cut the hole, I will bring you along for that. We'll film it. Watch me cry as I cut another hole into the boat. Anyway, no chitter chatter. Melting butter, hopefully. So we close that lid, get it nice and hot. Where's my arrow? There it is, hot. Delicious. Oh, I think we're time to flip it. Oh. Be careful, don't want it to come apart. Ooh, delicious. This one is going to be a little tough. Ooh, got it. See, you're built for that slip, Lars. That was pretty damn close to perfect. Yeah, I sent Terry a text asking permission, and he's coming in next weekend. It's still a little soft on the inside, babe. I don't think it's done yet. So I just flipped, flipping them back over. So if you push them, they're still soft on the inside. I don't. Those are fantastic. You think they're done? Yeah. Okay. All right. Trade it out for the stir fry. Oh yeah. Oh. Okay. Little lubrication. Yes. Yes. Good. Oh, she's looking good. What the? Sick of my Oh, we have. <laughs> damn it! We have the Nacho Libre mask too. Oh. 
Son of a bitch! Come on! Tequila! Oh. Dude. I could not. We brought pickle juice too. Actually, do it with pickle juice. Do it with. Try that out, Dwayne. Uh, oh my lord. Oh my good lord. Here, babe. Thank you. You got Thank you so much. Takes away the taste of the tequila if you don't like tequila. Which Good friends. Doing. So you have to share that treat here, guys. Happy. You have to take it all, Lord. <laughs> Happy Cinco de Mayo. Ish. Really. Well, the pickle juice makes it so much better. <laughs> see, I like tequila. I like good tequila. That's good tequila, too. Nothing to see here. Another icky rainy day.